Forget complicated Jinja 2 templates and YAML files with obscure variables. A radical new approach to managing network configurations is now possible thanks to recent advancements in generative AI. In this video, I'm going to demo a full network configuration management solution, which doesn't require a single hard-coded command. Instead, all that is required are basic instructions in plain English, plus a network diagram with basic information, such as IP addresses and autonomous system numbers. To keep things simple and clear, I'm going to use a lab topology with just three Juniper VSRX firewalls running in packet mode on KVM. But there's no reason why this approach couldn't be extended to larger networks. I'm going to start by generating configuration using the ChatGPT graphical user interface, but the second part will cover REST calls to OpenAI's API for a completely programmatic way of defining and managing my network lab. I'm going to use a basic Python script for this purpose, but don't worry, you'll be able to follow along if you don't have any programming experience whatsoever. OpenAI has recently included Vision, its brand new image analysis feature, to its ChatGPT4 multimodal AI bot, available for all paying users. This allows ChatGPT to interpret and extract information from network diagrams. However, think twice before uploading anything. Make sure to always check and adhere to your organization's guidelines about using generative AI tools. It's crucial to think thoroughly about the significant risks associated with uploading confidential or sensitive information to AI systems based in the cloud. My three devices already have a base config applied to them, which covers out of band management information and user authentication details. To begin with, I want ChatGPT to generate the IP addressing configuration as depicted in the diagram. Moreover, I'm going to tell it to generate the BGP configuration for the three nodes and define a basic policy using natural language. Every router should be able to reach all the other loopbacks. Bear in mind that the speed of the responses has been adjusted for demonstration purposes. As we can see, the initial response is rather poor. It left out the interface configuration completely and only included the BGP part. Moreover, ChatGPT failed to pick up on the SRX keyword inside the nodes in the diagram to figure out that these are Juniper devices and generated Cisco syntax instead. Let's see if we can do better by making some adjustments to the prompt. I'm going to explicitly tell it to attempt to identify the network vendor based on the information included in the diagram and generate the configuration accordingly. This time, it figured out that Juniper syntax is needed. However, I don't like the fact that it named the BGP groups IBGP, when in fact we're dealing with external peerings, and also that it didn't cover the loopback address info and the BGP export policies. Let's see if we can do better by adjusting the prompt further. By telling it exactly what specific configuration to generate, it was able to finally produce a perfectly valid result, which I could copy to my lab devices. but I won't copy anything yet, since my end goal is to have a system where I only need to make a change to the diagram and run a Python script against it in order to update my network lab without any manual intervention. To achieve this, we'll use the OpenAI API with the GPT-4 with vision model, which is not suitable yet for production environments. I already have my subscription plan and authentication key set up, but if you want to follow along, OpenAI has a very straightforward guide on how to configure your system to quickly get started. OpenAI has an example of how to work with local images, which I'm going to copy into a new project, where I've saved my network diagram. Instead of writing the API key in clear text, I'm going to use the OS module to get it from my local environment instead. I'm going to define the image path and my custom prompt.
Also, I'm going to increase the number of output tokens to the maximum allowed value to make sure that I get the best results possible. Let's test our script. As we can see, the output is a Python dictionary, so I will parse the output and print out the set commands one by one to make it more readable. Because GPT-4 vision is not fully deterministic, which means that it doesn't always produce the same output given the same input, you might need to run your script a couple of times and make adjustments for the variation in results. This being said, in the tests done for this demo, I've only experienced one or two variations for the same prompt, and these can be easily accounted for by using error handling. Okay, so we have an AI-driven intent-based configuration management system. We provide the topology and explain the intended behavior in plain English, and it's up to the tool to come up with the required syntax. We can generate the configuration in a repeatable way, but what if we wanted to actually push it to the network devices? Let's ask ChatGPT to generate a Python script for us. As I said in the beginning, I'm running three Juniper VSRX devices in my network lab. So I want to use PyEasy, a Python library created by Juniper Networks, to simplify the automation of devices running Junos OS. ChatGPT has generated the script for us, so let's create a new module in our directory and adjust the code to our needs. Since I want to use the functionality in my other Python module, I'm going to create a new function with the host name and commands as arguments. I won't need to specify a password since I've set up key-based authentication to my virtual devices. I also want to print the difference between the candidate configuration and the previously committed configuration. But before I can use the script, I need to install the required Juniper package. I will do so in a so-called virtual environment, which provides isolation between multiple Python projects. I will import the configure Juniper function into my main module and use it.
If you're not familiar with the previous syntax, the split function is used to break a string into a list of substrings based on a specific delimiter, in our case, an empty space. Also, the minus one between square brackets refers to indexing, a way of accessing individual elements in a list. In our example, we're telling Python to return the last element in the list, which corresponds to the actual device hostname. When I run the vision.pi script, I can see that GPT Vision is creating the required configuration and that I was able to successfully push it to my devices. If I connect to the node in the middle, I can see that both BGP peerings have been defined and are in an established state. This approach works with a one-off set of commands. But what if I want to be able to modify my lab just by editing the diagram? To achieve this, I'm going to create some base templates for my devices and augment them with the GPT-generated configuration. Each time I push, I'm going to start by deleting the candidate configuration. This means that I will do a complete configuration replacement. In these base templates, I've included the configuration parts that are going to stay static in my lab environment. Host names, passwords, and authentication keys, the SSH and NetConf services, the packet-based mode which converts the VSRX from a firewall to a router and the out-of-band information for managing the nodes. Next, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a simple script for reading lines from a file and return them as strings in a list. I'm going to create a new function in the orchestrator script and edit the configure Juniper function accordingly. We're going to test by changing the autonomous system numbers in the diagram and saving it to a new file. When we run the vision script against the new diagram, the router autonomous system numbers get updated as we intended. We can see that the BGP peerings have been established using the new autonomous system numbers and I can ping R3's loopback address from R1. To summarize, with very little effort, I was able to create a repeatable and consistent intent-based configuration management tool based on natural language. It's obviously not fully deterministic, but it's deterministic enough for my lab. As a next step, I could create a CICD pipeline so that each time I edit the diagram or the prompt and merge the change, the new resulting configuration would get pushed automatically to my devices. If you'd be interested to see how such a pipeline would look like, please leave a comment and I will create a follow-up. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and consider subscribing for more AI-related content.